autophagy, AMPK, mTOR, all the fasting pathways firing at once without skipping a single meal. Now, this is pretty interesting. So we're going to jump right into this. You know, if you take a quarter teaspoon of concentrated olive leaf extract, it can trigger the same cellular cleanup you normally only see after 18 to 36 hours of fasting. Not the oil, not the fruit, the leaf. And if you get the right extract standardized to 15 to 20% oleoropin, that quarter teaspoon delivers about 100 to 150 milligrams of active oleoropin, which is the same amount that matches the research dosages. So if you've seen my olive oil autophagy video, you already know the polyphenols and extra virgin olive oil activate AMPK and help suppress mTOR. But olive oil is the diet version. It's diluted, the gentle version, so to speak. What I'm talking about today is the ultra concentrated form, the part of the olive tree that has 10 to 20 times more potency than the oil itself. And today I want to walk you through the research explaining how this autophagy activates fasting and not fasting, even while you're eating. So we want to talk though about why the form matters, how to dose it correctly, and why almost every product that you find on Amazon just gets it completely wrong. Now, oleoropin is the actual molecule responsible for that sharp peppery burn in high quality olive oil. And oleoropin isn't just an antioxidant. It directly interacts with nutrient sensing pathways inside of your cells. In 2025, a study exposed human skeletal muscle cells, not rodents, not yeast, human muscle cells to oleoropin. These weren't starving cells. They weren't in a low glucose condition. They were fed normal, healthy cells. And yet the same fasting pathways we typically need hours and hours to reach while depriving ourselves of calories, of course, were suddenly activated. AMPK went up, mTOR went down, autophagy markers increased, liposomal function improved, and oxidative stress dropped dramatically. Those are the attention-grabbing parts of all this because almost everything we know about activating autophagy revolves around nutrient deprivation, lower insulin, lower amino acids, lower ATP, and when nutrient availability drops, AMPK senses it and turns off mTOR, flipping that autophagy switch on. It's a simple, elegant system. Growth turns off, cleanup turns on. But oleoropin breaks that rule. It shifts the system towards cleanup without forcing you into that metabolic deficit. And it doesn't stop there. Alzheimer's research shows oleoropin increases autophagosome formation, enhances liposomal acidification, clears toxic protein aggregates, and activates TFEB, which is basically the master regulator of liposomal biogenesis. Cardiac research shows improved mitochondrial turnover, meaning better removal of damaged mitochondria. And some studies even show improvements in endothelial function, oxidative stress, and certain inflammatory markers. This all happens because oleoropin directly interacts with AMPK, mTOR, CERT pathways, and autophagy machinery. But here's the part that most people get wrong. Even though olive oil contains trace amounts of oleoropin, I say trace amounts, the leaf is where the real concentration is. But even then, not all olive leaf extracts are actually created equal. If you happen to buy a generic bottle that says olive leaf powder, 500 milligrams, you may as well be buying spinach powder, meaning it won't do anything close to what the research is showing if it's not the right extract. If a bottle doesn't tell you the percentage, say 10%, 15%, 20% oleoropin, it's basically just dried leaves in a capsule or in a powdered form. And if that's the case, you're not activating autophagy at all. For instance, two supplements can look identical on the label, 500 milligrams olive leaf, but one has 3% oleoropin, one has 20%. That's the difference between whispering to AMPK and grabbing it by the shoulders and shaking it. Yeah. You want the one doing the grabbing, not the whispering. On the supplement facts panel, look for oleoropin X milligrams or standardized to 15 to 20% oleoropin. 
If it just says olive leaf powder, 500 milligrams with no breakdown, <laughs> skip it. You're paying for powder and not polyphenols in that case. Now, let me show you how to use a quarter teaspoon and activate autophagy because knowing the mechanism is cool, but applying it is where you can actually get the value. And there are three simple effective ways to go about this, depending actually on your lifestyle. The first method is using it during a fast. This is what I call the enhanced method. When you're fasting, insulin is low, mTOR is naturally downregulated, and AMPK is beginning to rise. That means your cells are already leaning toward autophagy, but the process is slow. Oliropin acts like a catalyst. It deepens the autophagy response more efficiently than fasting by itself. People often add it to black coffee or plain tea because again, it's bitter, but bitterness is your friend here. Bitterness means polyphenols. A quarter teaspoon of a 15 to 25% extract standardized during your fast enhances the environment your cells are already in. It doesn't break your fast, doesn't stimulate insulin, and it accelerates the actual cleanup process. The second method is one almost nobody talks about, activating autophagy while you're eating. But this only works if insulin stays low. So you'd want to take a quarter teaspoon with a low carb, higher fat meal, something like salmon and greens, eggs and avocado, chicken with olive oil. Keeping insulin low keeps mTOR low, allowing oliropin to push it even lower and then raise AMPK getting you to that sweet spot to actually mimic fasting while still eating. Think of it as autophagy during feeding, which normally should not be possible, but the leaf extract creates a metabolic environment similar to fasting without the fast. Now, is this identical to a 24 hour water fast? Heck no. Fasting has other benefits beyond autophagy, but for the specific pathway of AMPK activation and mTOR suppression, this creates a similar cellular environment. The third method is the simplest. Take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Overnight, your insulin is low, your glycogen is slightly depleted, and AMPK is beginning to rise. Taking a quarter teaspoon at that moment extends that metabolic window, nudging autophagy forward just a little bit further. People report better mental clarity, smoother energy, better digestion, less heavy feelings after meals, and sometimes improved recovery after workouts. But don't expect fireworks. Autophagy is an adrenaline. It's a cleanup crew sweeping through your cells, removing damaged proteins, dysfunctional mitochondria, misfolded fragments, and oxidative junk. You don't feel autophagy actually happening, but over time, you feel the results of having less cellular garbage in your body. Now, I want to talk about something important, expectations. Olive leaf extract is not a diabetes treatment. In a 24-week human randomized controlled trial called the Esold study, it showed it was safe, well-tolerated, and maybe improved insulin slightly, just the sensitivity. But it did not significantly lower HbA1c in type 2 diabetes. The study was small, underpowered, and used capsules, not liquid extract and not high dose polyphenol forms. But still, I'm not presenting this as a blood sugar fixing supplement because that's not where the strongest evidence is. The strongest evidence is in autophagy, AMPK activation, oxidative stress reduction, mitochondrial maintenance and longevity pathways. And that's what we're talking about here. And just to be clear, this is not about tricking your body. It's about using a compound that interacts with the same sensors your body uses during fasting. AMPK is your low fuel sensor. When it rises, your body thinks fuel is scarce. It upregulates energy efficiency. It repairs mitochondria. It removes damaged proteins. It reduces oxidative load. mTOR drops. TFEB rises. Liposomes activate. And the cleanup crew starts rolling out. All you're open is simply engaging that system directly. If you want to try this yourself, Here's what I recommend. Start with a quarter teaspoon once daily of a standardized extract, ideally somewhere between 15 to 25% oliropin. But at minimal, look for 50 to 100 milligrams of oliropin per serving or per dose. 
If you're using capsules, check the allopurinol per capsule, not just the milligrams of the leaf. Test one of the three methods, the ones that actually fit your lifestyle and run it for two weeks. Then switch methods and see how your body responds. You don't need multiple dosages. You don't need grams of powder. You need potency. A small amount of the right extract beats handfuls of the wrong one. This is the same approach I take when I read a study. Validate the mechanism, look for the dose that matches the research, choose the correct form and apply it in a way that makes sense for me. That's it, no hype, no miracle claims, just good biology applied correctly. I've linked a 2025 muscle cell autophagy study, the Alzheimer's autophagy research and the AMPK mTOR papers, along with the olive oil uh, polyphenol metabolic studies in the description so you can actually go through them on your own if you choose to. This is David. And if this helped, you know what to do. Hit the like button for me and I'll see you guys in the next one.